copying and pasting a surface creates an overlay copy of the selected surface. This is useful when you need a copy of a model surface to assist in the creation of complex geometry. Use as a reference in another model, creating tooling services, and so on. To copy a surface, you first select it or use control to select multiple surfaces. You can also query to select the entire top surface of the extrude. After the surfaces are selected, click copy and then paste. You can now see the copied surface at the top of the model. Of course, the standard Windows shortcuts control C and control V can also be used to copy and paste a surface feature. In this example, we'll select the top surface of this extrude and then use Control C and Control V to paste it. Surface copy options enable you to further define the geometry of a copied surface. Here we'll use Exclude Surfaces and Fill Holes to exclude the voids at the inside of this surface. Just press Control and select the edge of each so that they will both be filled. We know it's been selected correctly when we see the surface pattern going across both voids. Okay, next we're going to unhide the Project 1 feature so we can go over another surface copy option. This time we'll use the Copy Inside Boundary, which can be used to trim away surface material outside a given boundary, such as this projected datum curve. Surfaces play an integral role in just about all modeling processes and surface copy and paste is a powerful and flexible tool that can help you design more productively.